check out this temperature today, everyone. It was up to 25 degrees Celsius, which is almost 80 degrees Fahrenheit. End of April, crazy. But it's supposed to drop down to around five degrees Celsius tomorrow. And Wednesday is supposed to snow. So today I'm just gonna poke around in the flow hive and see what happened, why they died. Um, it's a sad state. So we're just gonna check it out, see what I did wrong and learn from my mistakes, I guess. Um, and I'm gonna leave some resources, some pollen patties for the bees. And I'm also gonna put some feed out in the yard for them to have because it is supposed to go to freezing again. Um, so I don't want to put any syrup in the hives yet. So I'm just going to put it out in the bee yard and that's that. Here's my dead cluster of bees in the flow hive. And to me, there's some fondant. Definitely looks like moisture. You can see all the uncapped honey. And you can see all the mold. Let's pull out another frame here. Yeah, look at all that uncapped honey. It's actually all like crystallized in there. And then again, mold, more uncapped honey. My suspicions were right with the flow hive and it really is devastating because this was one of my strongest hives and it lasted me through many many years um, when all other hives had passed away um, last year I had a pretty bad year the year before so the, these girls in particular were pretty hardy and so I'm pretty disappointed and I know I keep trying the flow hive and trying, 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 but like, I don't know when I stop trying. And I know a lot of people are giving me a hard time saying, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. It's not the climate, it's what you're doing. But I don't think flow hives are good for Canada. So the first winter I tried just a single brood flow hive, which is eight frames and they died. They starved out and then this year I thought well I'll do 16 I'll do a double brood and they've molded out because I've used this insulation and I guess I should have used wood shavings so comment below if you think I should keep attempting with the flow hive or pack it in because I'm not really sure my brother, I gave him the other flow hive and they also died. Um, same reasons, moisture. But, I mean, it's just sad. The frames are so heavy with resources. So yeah, comment below, let me know what you think because I'm kind of at a, crossroads here I can just put the sucker away give it to someone who wants it or just keep trying again <sighs> so here is the moldy frames we're gonna dig through the hive a little bit more you can just see all these bees look at them all I'm gonna just pull this whole thing apart, scrape the bees off and let it air out. Um, we're doing that with my husband's hives over there and the bees are 
snacking away at all the resources. So I'll do that here too and I'll put it off to the side. So I took out that section of moldy bees, scraped all the bees off, and I'll just do that with all the frames, put it back together and set it to the side. I got the top box cleaned out. Just gonna set this off to the side, clean up the bottom box, and hope the other bees can have a tasty snack. harassing me for no reason just hit me in the face and then kept smacking me Oof. it's a pretty huge colony actually and look how big like two layers just packed of bees we were going on pretty strong and it Moisture just got them. Sucks. Just put my veil on for now because there's a bee that just wants to play in my hair for some reason. I'm not a fan of head stings for my first bikini beekeeping day. So there's a few queen cups, which is interesting. And the bottom frames actually are pretty empty. There's no resources at all. They're all just light and empty. This one's heavy. That's one out of eight that has anything. Oh, this one has a lot. Side one is empty, so interesting.
we had this whole bottom board is fondant. comments below whether you think I should keep pressing on with full hive give it another year or pack it in and say goodbye because I'm feeling a little bit defeated uh, with the loss of Queen Maria and I don't really know what to do at this point I do really like the Our Lady Bees or maybe I just use it as a regular hive and not a flow hive I don't know. Let me know. Anyway, enjoy the Bees and Bikinis theme song and I'll catch you on the next one. Yes, I know that one and one or two Ain't no problem that I can't see through As long as it's just me and you My crazy little bees